Hello, this is Robert Capucci. I'm in Los Angeles, California at the Ideal World Conference 2010 with Bill Sonnenmaker, who is also, by the way, in addition to being a world-renowned presenter, former Idea Personal Trainer of the Year. Do I have my facts correct, Bill? You do, 2007. Now, Bill, you travel around the world and you teach exercise practices to a wide variety of fitness professionals and fitness enthusiasts. What's your perspective on the importance of understanding the principles behind the practices that you teach? Bobby, I think principles are key to our success. As my grandfather taught me years ago, a man without principles is a man who is lost. When I was in college, I had an organic chemistry professor. The day, uh, the first Monday after our big test, he's handing back our exam results. And we're all waiting in anticipation. It's one of those big auditorium classrooms, you know, a couple hundred people, and you know, we're sitting up at the top. He's walks into the classroom, he's got like the papers in hand, he kind of throws them down on the table, and there's this big log on the center of the table, he picks it up, bangs up and down on the table, and he says, the answer to these questions are of utterly no importance. Like, we're kind of like, what's he talking about? What? We just spent like weeks, all weekend tell studying for this test. Yeah, tell us now what? You know? But, he bangs on the table again, bang, bang, bang. The answer to these questions is of utterly no importance. He pauses for dramatic effect and he says, what is important is how you arrived at these answers. And it's like a light bulb that went on for like everybody in that room that you, know, you can memorize things. Like we can take a cookie cutter approach, but if we lack the principles, if we lack the understanding of what it is that we're doing, that, how it is that we're accomplishing that, we're not going to be able to replicate it, which is very important when we work with clients and from a scientific foundation. But if, if, if you're just straight memorizing things or using that cookie cutter approach, you're missing the bigger picture. So principles, the principles of program design, there's nine of them. It's simple. It's straightforward. Everything boils down to simple things. Now, simple things built upon top of each other make complex things. But a molecule is simple. You know, if you look at carbohydrates, in fact, it's carbon, it's hydrogen, it's oxygen. It's the organization of those that make them complex molecules. Add in a nitrogen group, now you've got a protein, an amino acid. Add in several in a row, you now have a protein strip. So principles guide us in our life for success. Principles guide us in our program. They also design, they guide us for assessment. Everything that we do. Right? So again, to go back to you know, what my grandfather had said, a man without principles is lost. What are you using as your foundation if you don't have principles? 